think this is the first good day I've had in a, uh, in a long time. That's, uh, that's a lot of pressure to put on the shoulders of a bowl of gelato. I don't know. This gelato's pretty all time. <laughs> It was, uh, it was my pleasure, and uh, you know, any any time. Thanks. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're going. Well, <laughs> I, I am supposed to be out in the hall. I know, but do you, would you, you just mind just talking to me until I fall asleep? Steps, you didn't hear me? Uh, just a uh, lot going on, distracted. You, you and Lulu have a fight or something? What's the matter? No, no, Mom, we're fine. So, what Not are you that. standing out here all alone looking like someone kicked your puppy? Uh, I wouldn't know what that would be like because you never got me a puppy. I begged you every day for two years and you got me a fish instead. Yeah, the fish that I had to flush down the toilet two weeks later because you forgot to feed it? That's not true. I fed it all the spinach you wanted me to eat. <laughs> when I was seven. <laughs> Too young for that much responsibility, I guess. But there was no telling you that. And now all these years later, you're still trying to shoulder everything on your own. Honey, when are you going to learn? Huh? Look, I'm fine. Dante, I always know when you're lying, OK? So don't even bother. This is, reminds me of like a couple years ago, you were on some case or something. You were guarding somebody. You were acting just like this when it was all over, all, all brooding and quiet, and I knew something was wrong with you, but you wouldn't talk about it. You know, Mom, the one thing I've learned about the past is uh, you best to just leave it all behind. I want Hi. 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 Um, the jackal has scoured the local farm fair to procure the freshest of fruits for your favorite blend of beverages. Uh, listen, you know, uh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, Jason thinks that uh, I may be taking advantage of you, and... Uh, yeah, I, I'm of the opinion that Stone Cold has been unduly harsh since your arrival, and I would like to offer my, my deepest apologies and assurances that I, I in no way feel put upon. Oh, that is very sweet, but in any case, I actually really res... Uh, you won't tell Jason I said this, right? I, uh, I really respect him and wouldn't ever want to do anything to hurt him. So uh, I, I kind of have a problem. <laughs> I sometimes end up hurting the people that I love the most. Jason, I'm glad you could make up. Uh, Luke said you were working on a car and I had a figure to pull. If anyone asks, my name's Ronan O'Reilly. You said you needed my help. What's up? I heard Brenda was back in Port Charles. Any idea where I could find her? Yeah, she's staying with me. Why? I'm supposed to kidnap her. A man known as the Balkan gave the order. Have, have you turned up anything on the Balkan? Why, he's a ghost. And he operates on the fringes to keep it that way. So far, all contact has been through a go-between. And what were the orders? Grab Brenda and wait for further instructions. I mean, do you have any idea why this guy's after Brenda? Always take a dare. Wow, that's a, that's a really passionate response. Yes. Barry, you must you must really like like dares. I take all dares. They're fun. <laughs> wow. Oh, they were fun right up until the time I uh, I crash landed. You, you crash landed? Were, were you hurt? Yeah. We, let me. I'll tell it in the order that it actually happened. Oh, I'm, so, like I'm, so, life, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was so riveted by your story. I just well, got I, overly excited. Clearly, and I could tell. I well, anyway, so my my cousin Pete. He dared me to get on this bike with no brakes and fly down the Third Street Hill. And I actually was thinking about my future and wanting to play baseball. And I was like, well, I don't actually want to do that. But then this guy, Tommy Locatelli, he was a total jerk. He started going off about how all fucking Aries are, are cowards. It's not my family honor oh, was yeah, on the line, right? Cool. Yeah. So I got on the bike and 
I flew down that hill, man. I was flying. You were scared. No, hell no. I loved it. I was laughing. Oh, because you, you, you don't get scared? Spirit, you have a visitor? Oh, you know what, Max? I don't feel like seeing anyone right now. Oh, she says it's important. Who, who is it? Lulu Spencer. Oh. Yeah. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you. Do you have a minute? Yes, I do. So I stayed on the bike right to the bottom of the hill, but I, I can't stop. So uh, I'm about to hit like the traffic on McKinley Avenue. Right, and then you're gonna, is this the part where you're gonna crash? Yeah, this, this, okay, this is the part where I'm Well, not good, but Well, no, it yeah. kind of hurt, but <laughs> so I, tried, I saw this vacant lot and I tried to jump the curb like a superstar and I missed it and I flew through the air, but this time without the bike, I landed in all this gravel. My, my left side of my body from my shoulder down to my knee was completely shredded up, bleeding oh, everywhere. I get yeah. home. My mother's freaking out. She thinks something crazy just happened to me. Poor mom. Poor mom. I'm the one who's bleeding, getting screamed at by her because she's all mad because I'm bleeding all over the couch. I know, but she I was so the lawn that you for... were okay. Trust me. Anyway, that was a, that was a long time ago. Mm, thank God you didn't die riding your bike down the hill. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Because otherwise, you know, who would talk me to sleep? <laughs>